Captain, did you notice Dr. McCoy's reaction when I asked him if there was any possibility he might have made an error? He said there's always that possibility. And that's not like Bones at all. Come on. There are not many places one could hide in here. Oh. Hmm. I must have taken a little nap. Doctor, you are a man of curious habits, but I have never known you to nap on the laboratory floor. There's something wrong about this room. All right, Winston, you can come out now. I suggest you show yourself, Winston, or whatever you are. Did you say I'm a man of curious habits? Jim's talking to a table. I don't think so, Doctor. There used to be only two examining tables in this room. Now there are three. I just realized that. This is a vial of orientine acid, Winston. It will burn through almost anything but this crystal. If you've never seen it work, I'll demonstrate on you. I saw that, but I don't believe it. A Vendorian doctor. Their planet is quarantined, and few people ever do see them. Their ability to rearrange their molecular structure into anything with the same general size and mass, and their practice of deceit as a way of life, puts them off limits. Mr. Spock, get a security team down here on the double. Jim! Spock to bridge. Put me on ship's audio. All security teams, intruder alert. Repeat, intruder alert. The intruder is a Vendorian, capable of assuming any shape or identity. <laughs> Anne, what are you doing? My job? It isn't hard to guess who the intruder is. You're the only stranger aboard, Carter. You could have stopped him. Why didn't you fire? I... I couldn't. I knew he had to be the intruder, Captain. But I couldn't harm the image of the man I loved. Lieutenant, he is not the man you loved. Carter Winston is dead. I know that, too. Now. Security teams report no sign of the alien on this deck, Captain. I was afraid of that. Once out of our sight, he can become anyone or anything aboard this ship. <laughs> Bridge, this is the captain. What's happened? Two Romulan battlecruisers, Captain, and they're heading right for us. 